So I'm going to do this one first, all right, um, just to kind of help you guys out. Yeah. You don't need to. You have a calculator right there. So that can be put away. OK, so we have y equals um, a times x minus h squared plus k, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of explain all this with the graph, which hopefully will kind of make a little bit more sense. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and explain the other one with the graph, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at, let's not worry about this equation right now, OK? Let's just go and worry about this one. You guys are familiar with this because we know that this is going to produce either a parabola that's going to open up or a parabola that opens down, right? So you don't need to write it in this format. I'm just, I'm just kind of forgetting that I wrote this equation. I'm going to do one at a time, OK? So let's just go and go through this information then so we can understand. This is what this formula is going to produce two different parabolas. Either one's going to be pot opening up or opening down. So how do we determine the direction of the opening? Right? You guys remember on transformations? What to tells us if it opens up or opens down? Which letter? A. a, right? So if A is greater than 0, our graph opens down, up, up. Okay. And if A is less than 0, then our graph opens down. Okay. Cool? OK, now we have the vertex, right? Vertex, you guys remember for this one, is always going to be? Guys, vertex, h comma k. So we have h comma k for your vertex. Huh? Well, yeah, in the formula, it's opposite of h. So if it's x minus 3, then your h would be 3. But it's h comma k is your vertex. So the axis of symmetry, remember, is now. So the axis of symmetry is a horizontal or a vertical line. Vertical lines. Therefore, we can say it's the form of x equals h. Right? Yes, Alex? No? OK. Does everybody follow me so far? This is stuff you guys should remember that we've gone through. This is stuff we've already talked about. But now what we're going to get into is a couple of their differences. So now we're going to get into our points. So we have a focus. And on this one, we have a directrix. We're going to learn how to do that. All I want you guys to understand right now is for each one of these, where the focus and the directrix are, are in certain characteristics of the parabola. Notice how the focus is inside my parabola. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Notice how the directrix is on the opposite side, right? So one thing we can say, ladies and gentlemen, remember I said all points of a parabola are equal distance from the focus to the directrix. Does that make sense, Dimitri? Good. So you don't understand what? It means every point on this parabola, if I drew a straight line to the focus, and a straight line to the directrix, that line would be exactly the same. OK? Anywhere on that line? Anywhere on this parabola. But on the directrix, it doesn't matter. All I'm saying is you draw a straight point to your directrix. The distance from a point to the focus down to your directrix is going to be exactly the same. OK? You draw the shortest path to your directrix. All right, which would be straight down to there. Yeah, obviously, if you do a directrix over there, it's not going to be the same, right? You do your straightest point to your directrix to your focus, it's going to be exactly the same. OK? So the one thing is the two things I want you guys to understand is notice where my focus is inside the parabola. All right? Now, we know that this distance has to be equal to that distance. Yes? Yes? Where's another color? This has to be equal to that. This is equal to that. OK? So now what we're going to do is we're kind of going to learn what exactly is that distance. How do we figure out that distance? All right? Um, so that distance, 
is 1 divided by 4a. All right. So if I now want to find my focus, so here's my vertex, right? Here's my vertex. If I now want to go up to my focus, what do I need to add? 1 plus 4a, right? Because the distance from the vertex to the focus is 1 plus 4a. The distance from any vertex to your focus is going to be 1 divided by 4a. Divided by. 1 divided by 4a. But what I'm trying to say is, if I give you the focus, and I say, where is the, I'm sorry, if I give you the vertex, and I say, find the focus, what do you need to add to your vertex to get to your focus? 1 divided by 4a. So let me show you what I'm meaning by this. The focus. All right. Notice, ladies and gentlemen, that to go from my vertex to my focus, you notice that these lines are on the same line of symmetry, right? So did my x coordinate change at all? No. So when I say, what is the focus, we know that the focus is going to be the same as the vertex, right? It's going to be h. And then I'm now going to k plus 1 over 4a. All right? Now, let's see about this. Well, why are you adding? Because right down here, you subtract, right? Because down here, you're going down to get to the focus. Well, remember, if my a is negative, right? If your a is negative, then adding a 1 divided by 4 times a negative a, well, adding, that's going to make this a negative number. So you're actually adding a negative number, which is the same thing as subtracting. So your general form to find your focus is going to be h comma k plus 1 over 4a. Does anybody have any questions on that? Everybody understands that hk is my vertex. The focus is a distance of 1 over 4a. Yes? Yes, because it's not moving left or right. However, now, remember guys, we said from the vertex to the focus is 1 over 4a. And that has to be exactly the same from the vertex to the directrix. So instead of adding 1 plus 4a, what do you think we're going to have to do? Subtract. Subtract. But the problem is, this is a line, right? So how are we going to write the equation of a line? y equals. Very good. Because it's a horizontal line. So y equals k minus 1 over 4a. k equals 1 minus 4a. All right? And then the last one, which we haven't gone through, um, which we have our lattice rectum, all right? The lattice rectum states that if you have a perpendicular line to your axis symmetry that goes through the focus, all right, is going to be the absolute value of 1 over a. Okay. Huh? Yeah, it's perpendicular axis symmetry and it goes through the focus. Absolute value of 1 over n. Okay? You got that? Okay. So that's it for that. Um, took me nine minutes to go through this. I'll go through the other.